and it's on the calendar I don't remember I'm not gonna lie <laughs> definitely I missed stuff because of this Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce here at Joy of My Life. I do fashion, beauty, tech, vlogs, and all that beautiful stuff. So if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. So I know this video is a little long overdue. <laughs> I posted my Mac unboxing about a month ago and I probably should have, you know, followed up with my What's on My Mac video, but here we are. We're finally here and we're ready because I've made my Mac very customized <laughs> since I opened it and I really like how it's come out, honestly. I've done a little research about some new apps I could use on my Mac, so definitely been enjoying it and using it to the fullest, honestly. So I'm excited to show you guys what's on my Mac and in its like new updated form. Because I did a video I don't remember when it was probably like a year or so ago probably two years ago probably like two years ago on my old mac and i did a what's on my mac video then and it's similar but not the same okay so we we did a little revamp all right so hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this video so we're gonna start off with my desktop obviously so my desktop this is how it looks right now it is not my full vision board i guess this past year i want to say the first year i did a vision board was 2023 and i decided to do one again for 2024 so originally when i first opened my mac i had my vision board for the entire screen and I said, you know what? I want to try to start using the widgets. I want to use a new feature of having the widgets on the desktop. You can actually pin these the widgets on desktop. So I was like, let me, you know, minimize my video board just a little bit and make a little space for the widgets. So that's what I did. I basically kept most of my vision board here. So a lot of my vision board is definitely with like consistency and content. Definitely more travel, some skincare related stuff, some tech related stuff as you can see at the top more like you know coding wise I had that purple setup for my streaming um, camera working out YouTube so yeah definitely a bunch of different stuff but hoping to you know have that for my 2024 so on the right here is the widgets that I have been using and I've been loving so the first one is flip clock so this is a app that you could download on your mac and basically use it as a widget or just as a clock in general so when you go here this is the when it comes up and you could actually you know customize it to be one of your screensaver to be a widget you could change the display settings all of that if you decide to use the premium version there's probably more customization levels but I'm just using the free one and I'm just doing the simple black because I decided to do all of my widgets more black um, background so it would all match and I really like it it definitely gives more of a cute little I guess retro <laughs> modern type of vibe I guess you want to call it with the flipping of the seconds and everything you could also don't have to have the seconds but I wanted the seconds so yeah that's the flip clock on the top then i have the calendar which i like to have because i use my calendar very religiously all right as i've grown up i very much am a calendar girl okay when it's on the calendar i don't remember i'm not gonna lie <laughs> definitely i missed stuff because of this I use my iCal the most it's probably the central calendar all of my google calendars from all my different gmails okay i have multiple gmails um are linked to my iCal so everything that is on the calendar in google calendar is linked to this one iCal so i really like that and it's all here for me to see obviously you can see there's really not much coming up for me this particular week i got really just some streams to do but yeah that that's what's going on right now then i have the battery so i have the battery for my computer right now because at the top you don't really see you just see the bar and i like to know how much percentage i have so that is what i did there and then i have the weather so of course in new york right now it's 34 degrees a little, little chilly <laughs> um and then the last is this other app that i downloaded called smart tax and basically it's a to-do list honestly um i just like it because if i want to have something happening that day like i want to make to do's for that day i could literally just see it right as i open up my computer and keep looking at it throughout the day to make sure i to i do it so i could just add as you can see right here this is the smart tasks actual app and it opens up automatically when i open like uh, load up my computer so it does run at startup for me but basically for the free version you get to have two different categories so for me I set it up to have personal which is like just my personal to do's like regular 
day-to-day -day life to do's and then I have my joy my life slash purple people which is purple people is my twitch uh community twitch sphere twitch username <laughs> so if anything that's related to twitch and then also joy my life which is obviously you guys know me as joy my life so I have those two categories and basically I categorize it of you know my to do's based on those two things and if I you know Want to pay for the premium version you could have multiple categories at that point but right now i don't think i need it i already have another to do app that i use microsoft to do and you'll see that later but yeah this is this is what i like especially for you know my desktop and seeing it as soon as i open up my computer next we'll go to my doc so as you can see my doc is not crazily cluttered but you know we're, we're we still have a good amount of stuff on here obviously it's finder we have the launch pad which has all of my apps which i'll quickly go through because um <laughs> we have all the main Apple apps that come with the computer so I didn't really touch this page but this page is the apps I've downloaded so Microsoft to do which I was talking about earlier it's basically my to do app that is synced across all my devices I just have random lists of stuff um, that have some some have due dates some don't um, I just I honestly just like it because it's able to be synced I know you could have notes you could have to do on your notes I know you could have to like reminders I know you have all that I just like this because it's also synced I could use it on my PC as well and that is not Apple so I like it like that okay <laughs> then I have good notes I use good notes primarily on my iPad but I sometimes do like to pull up my good notes on my computer to see what I did on my iPad and sometimes transfer it to here so I do have the good notes app here I also have CapCut recently I have been editing all my YouTube videos off of CapCut I've been trying to make the transition from iMovie into a new editing software I might be trying out Final Cut Pro this year we will see but right now I've been loving CapCut it's been really different like I well not different but I've been enjoying the experience on CapCut I was already using CapCut on my phone for my short form content videos so it was only right for me to try to use it on my actual Mac and try it for my YouTube videos. So, so far, so good, you know? Um, the next one is my PDF merger slash splitter. I love this app because sometimes I want to merge a lot of different pages into one PDF to send to somebody. And then sometimes I just want to take one page out and send to somebody. So that is what this app is for. And I've been using it for years at this point, so. Yeah, I just haven't used it on this computer yet, so that's why there's a little blue dot there. <laughs> Key Focus is my Pomodoro app, and basically, if I want to get a certain amount of tasks done in a certain amount of time, I use this. I definitely use this a lot in college, and it helped me a lot. I haven't used it recently, but it is on my taskbar, which I will show you guys in a minute. Notion. I love Notion. I am a Notion girly. Okay, I use Notion so heavily y'all it's insane okay um so i definitely definitely love notion i use my content planners in notion all my like basically anything i plan is in notion like i have stuff for joy my life that's planned in there i have my brain dumps in there purple people stuff is in there like it's it's, it's insane it's insane notion i use so much so i do have an actual template for content creation so if you guys want to talk about that see that let me know down in the comments because i will definitely talk about that in another video um because my content planner is very thought out um and <laughs> very in depth at this point <laughs> so yeah definitely let me know if you guys want to see that or maybe it's just like a notion tutorial in general because i love notion i used to use trello very heavily and trello is still good i just haven't used like once i started using notion trello when the dust i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie but i still do like trello it's not like i don't but Notion, Notion's my baby. Notion, no, Notion's my girl. Oh, what? Discord. I'm heavily in Discord now, so I use Discord obviously for my Twitch stuff, um, but also for some social media groups. Discord is very, very always happening. Always something happening. Always someone talking. So that's why you can see I have six notifications already. So yeah, and I'm OCD about <laughs> notifications, so I have to delete those later <laughs> after this video has been built. Next is Google Chrome, my browser. I don't really use Safari anymore, so I love Google Chrome. I like also that. I can sync everything. I love syncing. I love stuff that I can use across multiple devices. So I do have the Google Chrome app on my phone. I have it on my iPad. Like I said, I can use it on my PC and the profile is still the same through everything. So I can look up history that I use. Like I was, you know, browsing history on my Mac that I was doing and I could pull it up on my PC. I just love it. I just love the syncingness of it. So the sync, the sync, synchrosity. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. 
next time spotify this is my app of music so yeah self-explanatory um, i i just i just love spotify i've used it for years zoom you guys know what zoom is sometimes i have to use that for meetings hand mirror which i'm going to show you guys in a bit because i didn't do my taskbar yet that's going to be with my pomodoro app um i love this one this is really cute i saw it on someone else's video and i was like "Ooh, i'm gonna try that so yeah let's do i will show you guys that in a minute flip clock i already showed you guys what that was that was primarily for my widgets and then smart task was also for my widgets but as you guys can see on the dock, like I said, that's Launchpad, Google Chrome, Calendar. Like you said, like I said, I love my calendar. I live by my calendar. So that is why it's in the dock. Then I have my notes app, because I do still use my notes app pretty pretty religiously, I'm not gonna lie. My messages, FaceTime, Spotify, Discord, Microsoft to do, Notion, CapCut, the system settings, then smart tasks. Obviously, QuickTime is here because I'm screen recording <laughs> my computer right now. And then I have my downloads folder, which I do like having my downloads folder in the right here because usually when I download something, I want to use it right away. So I could just drag it from this location right here right onto something. So I like it for that. And then I have the trash can, which definitely needs to empty that. I don't know what I have in there. <laughs> but this is the task bar up here. So those two things I was talking about, Hand Mirror and Be Focus, are up here, and that's primarily what I download them for. Be Focus, like I said, is more of a task, I guess, let's say encourager. Let's say motivation. <laughs> but it's basically the Pomodoro timer. You basically just set the task name of whatever you want to get done in a 25 minute period. So like this for me was good because you can set, let's just say you want to do two, three minute, three intervals of 25 minutes and then the fourth interval is your reward. So it basically motivate you to get a certain amount of work done in a certain amount of time and then you get a reward after. So I really like this. I did, like I said, I use this more in college for studying wise. So I would, <laughs> if I told myself, okay, I'm gonna study this chapter and then I'm gonna do a quiz and then my reward would be the next one. So that's what I used to do um, and it was it was very helpful. So I still have this and I think it's been helpful for me for like editing, especially because I sometimes dread editing, I sometimes procrastinate editing. So if I can at least do 25 minutes of editing, I can reward myself, you know? And sometimes I actually skip over the reward because then when I'm in the editing groove, I actually want to finish it. So it does it definitely motivates me so if you guys have been looking for some type of some type of motivational tool i would definitely try the pomodoro timer and see how it works for you the other taskbar uh, i guess app you want to call it is hand mirror now this i like i said i saw on someone else's video on youtube and i thought it was so cute basically this is a mirror to show you what you look like at any given time so for me if i did this right now this is me <laughs> filming this video as you guys can see so i really love this it's great for if you're going ready to get on a meeting um if you're getting ready to go on facetime with someone you check what you look like right before you get on so yeah that is a quick little tool for that i know it's definitely you could use something else but i thought it was a cute little novelty app next thing i wanted to show you guys was my google chrome setup because like i said i've been I'm very much a Google Chrome user and I have it linked and synced across all my devices so I do really like it for that and I wanted to show you guys my extensions. So one of the things I want to show you guys was this go full page. Basically if you had a article or something that you wanted to screenshot the entire page you could quickly screenshot it with this chrome extension which i really like and i have it pinned up at the top so it's easy for me to access so i just try to screenshot you know my home screen of a of chrome but i don't really need that so it's very simple and i think it's great let me do a quick let's say let's do something that i know is gonna have a lot of stuff on it all right i'm gonna go to my pinterest page let's do that because i think that will be the easiest to do all right, so now you just see this, but let's see if I just do a go full page. It will screen, it's screen shouting everything. So basically, as you can see, it screenshot basically the page as much as like what had been loaded up. Obviously on Pinterest, if you keep scrolling, you load more things, but basically screenshot this whole thing. So this would be very good for articles or I don't know, just any type of like news or maybe blog posts or whatever you might want. That is that Chrome extension. Now, if we go into the other ones, I have my LTK, so like to know it, uh, 
product link. This is for my LTK page. I definitely need to nurture it more because I haven't done it as good in the past. So that is what that is for when I'm trying to link something to post on that page. I also have for my Walmart creator, uh, I guess, pinning or, or linking a tool. Uh, I recently was accepted as a Walmart creator, so definitely will be doing that in this year as well. Then this is Locker, which this is something that I haven't used so, so much yet, but I was starting to use because I thought this was really cool to say something you might be wanting to buy. So let's, for example, these are actually the, these are actually the headphones that I use for streaming right here. <laughs> um, but if I went into Locker, basically if I click on this, I can save this and say, okay, I want to potentially buy this. It will send, it will keep the link here. You could actually have different collections. Um, I have just clothes right now, but you have different collections where you want to save it to. You could also send it to your friends. So I think it's easier than bookmarking pages um, and honestly losing stuff that you originally saw or were browsing through. So I thought that was a really cool one to have as well. Then the other app that I have is Raccoon. So Raccoon is definitely a great one for cash back. I try to use it as much as possible. If it pops up in the, if, when I'm shopping and it pops up in the top corner, I am always pressing activate, trying to get as much money back as I possibly can. So this is definitely one I use a lot. And then the last one that I have pinned here is TubeBuddy, which I use for my YouTube videos to try to optimize my YouTube videos for SEO and all of that good stuff. So yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this What's On My Mac video. I thoroughly enjoyed filming this for you guys, and I hope you guys got something out of it. Hope you guys got some new apps to potentially download, or some new Chrome extensions to download. But let me know down below what you guys wanna see next from me, which one of the extensions or apps you're gonna download from this video. Let me know, let's talk in the comments down below. But definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, y'all, cause we have more content coming for you. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.